Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Kind of like a lotus flower logo. Start off by holding down the control button and make a perfect circle. Control D and make a duplicate. While grabbing the center, move it over, holding down the control button so it's perfectly up and down. We're going to smart fill that. I'm going to move it over and I'm going to get rid of these lines. I'm going to go ahead and hit P, which wasn't really necessary. Left click, right click. We're going to go up to effects and contour. Normally on something round, you'd want to contour it with rounded corners, but look what happened. It, round, it rounds the corners. So we can use square corners. It's still going to be like that, but it's going to be a better shape. I'm going to go ahead and break the contour part. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to double click on the rotation and you can either put it there or there. And I'm just going to kind of move it to where I think I want it. And then control D again. Now there's going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a uh, lines to take away, but it's not that big a deal. Just get your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. And then delete these two lines. And that's really it. Now, I'm going to set my nudge factor a little bit higher. I am going to get the smart fill tool. I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to nudge it over, fill that in, nudge it over and over. So you see the idea. That's what happens when you still have your smart fill. Go ahead and delete that. We can work from right here. I There's several ways you could do this, but I find it easier if you just left click, right click, control D and make a duplicate. Grab that node right there with the two-sided arrow and move it over there. Now, grab this node right here and put it right here. And we don't have to delete that center line the, even though there's double, because we're going to use a smart fill tool and just nudge out these flower petals. I think my first one came out better. I've got a straight line on that bottom. I don't really like, I don't know what I, maybe I didn't miss, maybe I missed cutting a line out when I did that, so we'll just keep going backwards, and I don't really see that I did that. Maybe, let's back up again, keep backing up. Maybe this time, let's rotate. Let's make sure we only have one copy, we have two. Let's, uh, let's rotate it from the other center. Control D and make a duplicate. And then rotate it from right there. We're going to rotate it like that and that. That's maybe what happened. It didn't rotate very good that second time. Control D and duplicate it. Move it to the center and just kind of move it down. Let's see if it's going to be any different this time. Virtual segment, delete key, delete all those lines, delete that line, go through here and delete that line. And see, now I'm going to have a point there. Don't worry about the other lines because that's why we're going to use the smart fill tool to nudge that over, nudge that over, nudge that over. Now we can delete all these lines. Left click, right click, left click, right click, control D, get this two-sided arrow and just move it over. And then grab that node right there and just do the exact same thing. And now we have sharp points on all our flat flowers. Pretty cool. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.